Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Rob Lurch, and today I'm going to be giving you a complete overview of the School of PE online course. I highly recommend this course. It helped me pass the PE exam. So if you're interested in taking it, the link will be in the description below. So please check that out. As you can see here, this is the main interface when you sign into the School of PE course. On the left side here, we have course content. That includes all your course material for all the subjects, including your lectures, lecture notes, practice problems and solutions, flashcards, quizzes, and my favorite tool, the Practice Portal Pro, which I'll talk about in a few moments. We have the study plan, which is a personalized calendar to help you keep track of your studies. Questions to instructors. If you have any questions for your instructors, you can post them here. Discussions amongst the students and instructors. Reimbursement letter. Basically, if you complete the course 100%, the School of PE has a policy where if you do fail the PE exam, you can take the course again for free. And any add-ons you want to purchase. Now let's look at the course material. I'll take one of my favorite topics as an example here, geotechnical and material. Looking at the refresher notes, of course you can download these and write on them as you wish. And as you go through your lecture videos, you'll follow along. I like the lecture notes. They're very helpful in understanding the concepts. And even some of the, the references back to the reference manual to where the equations or concepts being talked about are given. And if they're not, the professor during the lectures will tell you where you need to find them in the reference manual. I'm not gonna go through this entire thing, but you can just see kind of how the lecture notes look. Like I said here, the reference back to the reference manual. Now let's talk about workshop problems and solutions. For every topic, there's at least 40 to 50 problems. Same level of difficulty, maybe even slightly harder in some cases, and I thought the problems and solutions really helped me prepare for the PE exam. Felt confident going in. Looking at the solutions here, you know, we got a porosity question, void ratio. You know, this is the problem here. Got the solution here. And in some cases, even the reference back to the reference manual where you can find this equation. Like I said, if it's not here, the reference, the professor will tell you where to go back to find that equation in the manual. That's the workshop solutions. Let's take a look at the lecture videos. So these are recordings of the live lectures. You know, of course, right here, it will tell you your completion, how much of the video you've watched. You can change the viewing speed. I usually watch the lectures on 1.5 speed, but you can watch them as slow or fast as you like. You have the chat of the live course here. Now, if you're in the live course, of course, you can add to the chat in real time. But if you're watching a recording, you'll have to go back and ask your instructors questions here, and they'll get back to you. I like the lecture videos. I thought the professors and instructors went at a really nice pace. They really knew their material, taught it very, very concisely and clearly. Moving down here to quizzes, we actually have quizzes after each topic that you go through. Really cool, you can build your own exam you know, shows you how many questions for that topic you're working on. You can choose the complexity of the problems and then title it and then launch the actual quiz. So it's a really nice tool to use after you complete your lectures and all the practice problems and go through the solutions. Moving on to flashcards here, flashcards, additional practice, just to really hunker down on the material. You know, we have a flashcard here, you go through it, give you the solutions feedback, rating, notes, and you can bookmark the flashcards as you go along in your studies. Now let's talk about my favorite tool, the Practice Portal Pro. Basically, this is an exam simulator that's timed. They give you pre-made exams. You can make your own exam. This is really the best practice I had when I was preparing for the PE exam. I absolutely love the Practice Portal Pro. So let me show you how this works. If you wanted to build your own exam, you can choose any topics, you can choose all the topics that you want. Um, you can choose the complexity of the questions, how many questions you want on your practice exam. So the real PE is 80 questions. So if you wanted to take a full simulated PE exam, you can. You just gotta make it 80 questions long. Then you can title your exam and Bob's your uncle, you're on your way. Now looking at the pre-made exams here, we have two breadth exams and three depth exams prepared for us. I did the water resources and environmental depth for the PE exam, but whatever your depth is, they'll provide you with three pre-made depth exams. Each exam is 40 questions because as you know, on the PE exam, the breadth portion is 40 questions. The depth portion is 40 questions. And I want to show you how this works. So I took the, let's talk about the depth test one. 
I got a 75% on my second attempt. Kind of want to show you what the main start looks like. Test durations, 240 minutes. That's four hours, just like on the real PE exam. 40 questions, four hours. If we hit start exam, this is what it looks like, right? And this is why I love the Practice Portal Pro. On the top right here, we have timer mating. This shows the time ticking down, what question you're on out of 40, and the actual question itself. Now, if you have to go to the bathroom and take a break or whatever, you can pause the exam, see the time stops, and then you can resume it as you wish. Go through the exam, answer the problems. Now, what's really cool about this, and it really simulates the real exam, because you can flag, let's say you got stuck on a question, you wanna flag it for review. Remember that on the real PE exam, it's 80 questions, eight hours of total test taking time. That's six minutes per question. As you go through your practice, definitely using the Practice Portal Pro, you wanna keep in mind that six minutes per question threshold. But let's say you get stuck, right? You can flag the question for review, move on. Let's say you get stuck on this question, you flag it for review, move on. Once you finish your exam, you go through all the problems and you keep in mind that timer, you can submit your exam, review all, review flagged, reviewed unanswered. And this is really cool because on the real PE, you can flag your problems as you go along and you can review back to the flagged ones. So it is a really nice simulator to what you'll actually see on exam day. You go to review flagged, it'll bring you back, and then you can end your exam once you're all done with all the problems and submit it and you'll get your score. Now, of course, I only answered two questions. I did not get them right. But I want to show you what happens when you actually go through a problem, go through a practice exam and solve all the problems. So looking back at the practice exam I took in completion, I got a 75%. If we click on this, this gives you a complete breakdown of the exam, right? So I got to correct 30 out of 40 questions. That was a 75%. This shows me my total test taking time see how you well how well you're doing uh, on pace the breakdown of the easy questions medium questions and hard questions for some reason I got all the hard ones correct and 50% of the easy ones which is a bit odd even cooler than that you'll get a breakdown of all the topics right so on hydraulics 80% drinking water treatment 66% if you look down here wastewater collection and treatment I got a 33% not too hot so this, you know, you get a breakdown of all the topics and this will tell you what you need to go back and study. So, you, you know, you see how well you did the topics you did poorly on. Go back to your lecture notes, go back to the lecture videos, do some more practice problems. You can see all the problems again, how long it took you to solve each problem. I took a really long time to solve these two. I guess I got stuck on them and I was really quick on this problem here, only a minute. And the cool thing is it'll show you which problems you got correct, check mark, which problems you got wrong, X mark. And then you click on the question ID for the problems that you did get incorrect. You can read the problem over. You'll see the solution and the reference back to the reference manual. Just a really great tool. Like I said, it's timed. It's as close as you can simulate to the real exam. I love the Practice Portal Pro. Definitely my favorite tool in preparing for the PE exam. Well guys, that is the School of PE online course in a nutshell. If you're interested in taking the course, I highly recommend it. It really helped me pass the PE exam. I'll put the link in the description below, so definitely check that out. If you enjoy the content, please tap the like button, subscribe for more videos coming soon, and you can follow me on Instagram at the Lurchness Monster. Any questions you have, feel free to ask. I am more than happy to help. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day.